All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of Tekken's T8 Gen 2 one eight scale censored brushless motor. Uh, I have this thing slotted for my new Techno EB48.3. I can't wait to kind of get this thing bolted in, soldered on, and running. So I uh, wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing of this. I've done lots of Tekken uh, unboxings, and I know they're not the sexiest thing in the world, but a long time ago, I bought a Pro 4 motor. Wasn't quite sure if it actually came with a sensor wire, and I watched an unboxing video, and I found out, yeah, it actually does come with a sensor wire. So um, that's what I like about unboxing videos. You find out just little bits of information maybe before you buy, and it gives you a little bit of peace of mind uh, once you do purchase it. So uh, right here, we do have the Gen 2 version. Gen 2 is basically the newest version as of the date of this video, and they just made it a little bit more efficient than the previous gen. So very nice of them to give us just a little bit more power or uh, efficiency with that voltage. So right here you do get a great uh, 6061 CNC machine, machined uh, aluminum uh, ribbed heat sink can. God, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff to say in one sentence there. Um, precision engineered maximum energy conservation or conversion, uh, censored or sensorless design. You do have great magnets in there, uh, rebuildable design, also um, replaceable solder tabs. So um, if you have to replace them, you can, which is pretty cool. Love the solder tabs on these things. They're strong, uh, very minimal, uh, but you get some great power transfer. Right here, I chose the 4030 can. So that's the eight scale buggy version. Um, actually, it's not that one. It's actually this one, the 1900. I'm not sure why that one's marked. There's a 1900 in the box, but anyways, uh, that is the version I picked. As far as sizing here, I'm going to go ahead and measure it with actual calipers to uh, get you precise measuring. So uh, 40, 30, 11 ounces, 311 grams, pretty hefty, but I like the power that these Tekans generate. Right here, we got the motor uh, right inside the box. But I want to do some boring stuff first. Let's pull the foam out. There is that sensor wire. We're looking at a about an 8-inch wire. has some heat shrink around it here to uh, protect it. But nonetheless, you do get a sensor wire. Very nice of them. I also got some Tekken stickers, which I appreciate. I got the yellow and white version, or yellow and black, and also the white and black. I love these ones. These are my favorite. Now, as far as the motor, let's, let's look at this thing here. This thing is just absolutely awesome. You got the great uh, heat sink going around the can here just to dissipate heat. Great solder tabs up here. I love those things. Those things are very minimal, but you know, you, nonetheless, you get your solder tab on there very, very nicely. I like that they're actually including uh, the sensor wire kind of hold down right there, which is really nice. Part of the three motors right here are three bolts on the back. Got your sensor plug right there. Very nice design, seems to hold on very, very well. On the front portion of your here, you do get a five millimeter shaft, the D style right there to bolt on your uh, pinion gear. Uh, very lengthy as well, I'll do a measurement of that. Um, you do get two large bolt pattern, and then you got four of the smaller ones right there for the smaller vehicles, or if you're bolting this thing into like a slash, you still can. Now, as far as sizing here, Without the fins, we are looking at a 40 millimeter design. 39.99 is what I'm measuring. With the fins, we're looking at 42 millimeters, 41.94. Now, as far as an overall length, and I'm going to go from the very front here where the motor mount would be, all the way to the very back without the sensor wire, and we're looking at right about 69.99. 24 millimeters on my calipers here uh, with the sensor port and you know depending on where your wire is uh, you need to add on another couple millimeters 71 millimeters with that sensor port so as far as the uh, shaft once again it is five millimeters in diameter but as far as the uh, length of it I'm gonna try and get in here which I can't I'm gonna have to eyeball it so these these are an approximation here about an 18.5 millimeter length of the shaft. So uh, pretty decent design and I love these things. Uh, I have a, a couple of the 4038s, the Truggy sized ones. I have a couple of the Pro 4 HDs. I have even uh, an old Pro 4 
that I need to replace some bearings on, actually. So, anyways, that is my unboxing of the T8 Gen 2. I can't wait to get this thing mounted in my new EB48 and get some laps done. So, anyways, that is my unboxing. Comments, questions on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.